Example 6 and example 7 will show you more challenging type of questions from uh, the remainder theorem. Okay, let's get started. Given that the expression px cubed minus qx plus 4 leaves a remainder of 10 and minus 2 when divided by x plus 1 and x minus 2 respectively, find the values of p and q. Okay, so the first step that we do is always to let fx equal to px cubed minus qx plus 4. Again, well, the reason we do this is for simplicity in our presentation. Okay, so what do we know from here? Well, we know that when divided by x plus 1, that means when you substitute in x equals to negative 1, right, which we will get negative p plus q plus 4, right, which will give us a remainder of 10. Mm -hmm. So, the next one we know is when we divide it by x minus 2, which means that when we substitute in x equals to 2, we will get 8p minus 2q plus 4 is equal to, you guessed it, negative 2. Now, so from here, we can simplify this equation to then become negative p plus q is equal to 6. And this equation, we simplify it, we get 8p minus 2q equals to negative 6. Okay, so now as you can see, to find the values of p and q is actually nothing that difficult anymore, isn't it? It's simply a case of simultaneous equation involving two equations with two unknowns. Right now, so let's try to solve it. Now, minus p plus q equals to 6, we shall call it equation 1, okay, and of course we have p 8p minus 2q equals to negative 6, this will be our equation 2, right? So, when we take equation 1 multiplied by 2, we will get minus 2p plus 2q is equal to positive 12, okay, so we shall call this equation 3, alright? Now, then we see that, hey, this is positive 2q, this is negative 2q. What we do is we do by elimination method. Alright, so equation 3 plus equation 2. We will end up with minus 2p plus 8p, that will give us a 6p. Alright, this and this uh, 2q and 2q will eliminate each other. So that will give us 12 minus 6, which will give us a 6. And therefore we realize that, hey, p is equal to 1. Okay, and since we know that p is equal to 1, all we have to do is to substitute in p equals to 1 into equation 1. Okay, and now uh, we will get negative 1 plus q is equal to 6, and therefore q is equal to positive 7. Alright, so this is uh, one kind of uh, remainder theorem type of question that uh, may, you know, that's quite popular and common. Okay?